How's it going? Thomas at CMWIT. We got this very large box from DHL. Interestingly packaged, kind of looks like a self-made box. Very large, way too expensive for shipping. Don't worry, I already took out the content. Carbon fiber spoiler for the Mark 6 Golf R or the GTI, depending on what you got. You know, Mark 6 platform. Uh, we just got this carbon fiber Revo Sport big spoiler for the Mark 6 platform. Looks super cool, really big. This is what we're gonna be checking out today. Unfortunately, again, we're not gonna be installing it. The reason we're not gonna be installing this today is I wanna wait till the car is wrapped. As you can see here, it's still not done. Um, but as soon as the car gets wrapped, I wanna put this wing on top of the wrap that's done. I'm also gonna do a little wrap around this just to tie it in with everything. Uh, but essentially, we're just gonna install it with 3M tape. Pretty self-explanatory, or you can do a permanent mounting option. There's plenty of videos showing you how to do it. I'm kind of just line this edge here with the 3M um, and then put it right on there. But essentially we're just gonna check out fitment and my thoughts on this carbon fiber piece. Um, it kind of just adds a little bit of an extension to the kind of non-existent roof spoiler on the Mark 6 platform as I make scary noises with the carbon fiber piece. Please don't crack. Okay, as you can see, not even mounting it down, the fitment is really, really great. And as you can see from the close-ups here, as you can see, the fitment is great for an aftermarket carbon fiber piece. The body lines look awesome. And this isn't the final location. I kind of just set it there. Um, but just showing you without even mounting it, all the lines look really, really awesome. Again, this is an aftermarket piece from Revo Sport, and it's not Sport with an S, it's Revo Sport with a Z. For some reason, I don't know, but that is the company name. If you wanna pick this one up, it is called the Big Spoiler. And it's kinda of just, it almost looks OEM plus, if you know what that means. It, it almost looks like you could get this optioned from the factory like this. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to pick this one up. It's just got a super good look, really follows the Mark 6 body lines very nicely. The carbon fiber looks great. All the weave is going in the same direction. And again, the fitment is just awesome. Without even mounting this down with the tape, you can see all the body lines look awesome. Excuse my dusty car, you guys know. If you've been watching my other videos, this car has been sitting for quite a while now. But for an aftermarket carbon fiber piece, I think the fitment is awesome. I think the carbon fiber quality on this piece is great as well. No wonky carbon fiber weave going in random different directions like you would see on some eBay versions. Looks really, really awesome. It just kind of adds that extension that I think the rear hatch definitely needed. After owning this car for about a year now, driving it around, I think this is exactly Exactly what the car needed. Nothing too crazy or outlandish, just a simple carbon fiber accent piece to really tie the rear end together. I love this angle here. As you can see, it adds about three inches of height. I measured it with a ruler to this back lip here, uh, about a three inch extension, and I'd say about two and a half inches higher than the normal spoiler would be. So just adds a really great, you know, aesthetic appearance to the rear end. Again, I mean, this could be functional but this was mostly an aesthetic choice here. One drawback to doing the carbon fiber version is the price. The carbon, you're gonna definitely pay a carbon tax. That's what I'll call it. Anything carbon fiber is gonna be outrageously more priced than say a primer fiberglass one that you can get paint matched or wrapped to match your car. So if you do want that carbon fiber look, just know you're gonna be paying extra for that carbon fiber weave, that exposed carbon that a lot of people like. If carbon fiber isn't your thing, definitely save money and go with the uh, primer option. They weigh about the same. Again, it is just fiberglass and this is just carbon on top of fiberglass. That's, that's how parts like these are made. It's not full carbon, unfortunately. Let me pop it back off here, show you guys the inside. Um, so if you know how these parts are manufactured, like lips and everything, it usually is fiberglass here on the inside, but from what it looks like in here, I'm pretty sure if it was full carbon, the backside you would see dry carbon, um, and then the outside would be this gloss, but I'm pretty sure it's just fiberglass, and then the top layer is this really, really pretty 
carbon fiber weave. Again, it is dusty. It's been sitting out on my car here while I've been working on it. Would I recommend this? Probably not the carbon fiber version. I think the, the price that you pay for a carbon piece like this is outrageous, especially for, you know, this car is my daily driver. Obviously, I show it off at car shows, and I think the carbon is going to have a nice appearance there. But really, so much extra money for this top layer just being that carbon fiber appearance. And really, they're just going to weigh the same. Again, this is purely an aesthetic choice. So whatever you decide to do, if you care about that carbon look on your car, I mean, go for it. It's a great option. There's plenty of, of great options for this car. This is just the option I ended up going with. And I think it turned out to be a super cool look. It's a really nice piece, really great fit. And this is just a quick look at this spoiler. Not really a big install like some of my other videos. Kind of just keeping you guys up to date on what I'm doing with this car. I just want to keep you guys up to date on the build and everything I'm doing to the car, so I thought I'd just release this quick update video on this carbon fiber spoiler that I picked up and my opinions on it. I think the worst part was the shipping. You saw the box. It looked really, really janky. Already took care of that with DHL, and I noticed just a few um, cracks around the edge of the spoiler. I don't know if you can see that. Just a few cracks in the carbon fiber weave. And the quality pictures that I received from the company that shipped this out to me, they were not there. So I made sure to contact DHL and let them know, hey, this was a carbon fiber piece, and it re I re received it as cracked. Now, it could be just because of the way it was shipped or DHL themselves, but that's just my experience with ordering this piece, carbon fiber, big pieces like this that are very fragile. Well, not, I'd not say it's very fragile, but obviously it's fiberglass and carbon fiber kind of just chilling in a box. Once it's on the car, it's very, very sturdy, very rugged. Um, once it kind of uses this shape here, it looks really, really great. But you can kind of see the before. I know on the GTI and the Golf R, it's a little, it's a little bit different look than the stock Golf. But I think that this spoiler just adds that, um, that bit of aggression that the car needed, but nothing crazy. Again, I'd say it has that OEM plus look, but just adds just a little bit of a lip there in the back. I think it just kind of accentuates the whole rear hatch, and I think this is the best angle right here. You can see the overhang is just a lot greater than stock, which I really, really like. It kind of adds this, this old, whole overhanging piece over the rear hatch, which I think is a really great look. So just overall a really great piece. Just a quick update video for you guys. Sorry, it's so short and there's not really an install in it. Just showing off this new carbon piece I got for the Mark 6 platform. Letting you guys know my thoughts, you know, if you want to pick this up for your car as well. I think it's a great option. My recommendation at the end of the day, I'd go with the primered version, this is the fiberglass. I think the carbon tax that you're gonna end up paying is just ridiculous for this piece. And at the end of the day, I think you can get the same look just with a, a paint matched version or a, a wrapped version of the same thing, just not in carbon fiber. Another thing, this video is gonna go live on Tuesday and that should be the day that I get my wheels in, which is gonna be awesome. So you should see a video on Friday. And I release a video every Tuesday and Friday morning. So when this video is live, I should have the wheels in hand. So you should see an unboxing and kind of first reveal video of the custom three piece wheels on Friday, so be on the lookout for that. If you want to get notified when that drops, make sure you turn on the little bell for post notifications on my YouTube channel. But if you wanna stay up to date with content on this car, just videos like this, just showing you the build process and everything that I'm doing to it, make sure you subscribe. If this car isn't your cup of tea, I have lots of other cars on my channel or going to be on my channel. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, tell me what you thought. That is it for today. This has been the Revo Sport big spoiler for the Mark 6 Golf R or Mark 6 GTI in carbon fiber. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.